All right, so I'm using Final Cut Pro 10, and my workflow usually consists of using a Canon Vixia HF-S10 and Canon XH-A1. Um, now, Final Cut Pro 10 has no problems importing from the Canon uh, HF-S10, the Vixia, as long as the files are on the camera, and I plug it in and use the camera import window inside of Final Cut. Okay, so if I go to camera import, file import, it finds my camera and it finds the clips on the camera and I can import them from there without any problem. However, if I have already copied the files off my camera onto my computer, just the MTS files, then Final Cut can't import them. So I found a solution for this. Um, I also found a solution for how to import my M2T files. Those are files captured directly through Firewire into um, Adobe On Location. Both of these file types are things I need to work with and previously I've had to convert them to get them in the Final Cut. If you go to media-converter.sourceforge.net you can download this media converter and then once you've downloaded it and installed it you need to open it up. It looks like this and then you can go to up to media converter and then preferences and the preferences window opens and then you can see I already have this rewrap AVCHD for QuickTime with uncompressed audio um, installed, but if you don't have it installed, you can go to click the Get More Presets button, and once you click that, you'll be taken to this website where you can download the rewrap AVCHD for QuickTime with uncompressed audio. Click on that, and then once it's downloaded, you can say Add New Preset, and then Open an Existing Preset, and then Add It. Now, um, supposedly this works for some Panasonic cameras, um, but for the Vixia, this converter didn't work. The only thing that it worked for was the M2Ts from Adobe On Location. Once you have Media Encoder, select your rewrap for QuickTime, grab your M2T file from Adobe On Location, drag it in here, and I have the preferences set to always ask me where to save, so I can go tell it where to save that and say choose and it takes about five ten seconds to rewrap that into an MOV file and then if we go into Final Cut Pro and say import files and navigate to that file you can see here's my original M2T and then here's my MOV and we can put this in a new event called AVCHD and import and there we have our clip that we can scrub through alright so the next thing is the AVCHD from the Vixia in order for Final Cut Pro to be able to import um, AVCHD files from the Vixia it needs to see the whole AVCHD directory structure that the camera creates on the card but since I've archived all this old footage from the cards and the camera on my computer I don't have that anymore but Luckily, there's a tool to rebuild that, which enables Final Cut to be able to import it. And that tool is made by Panasonic. It's called AVC Cam Restorer. I'll put a link below in the uh, video info to download this. And you download the version for Mac. And once you have it downloaded, you can open it up. It looks like this. And the option that we want to use here is restore the AVCHD folder from the stream files in the specified folder. So. We're going to click on that and it will say, where are your MTS or M2TS files? So we'll go find one. There's one right here. So here's the directory that's in. We're going to select the directory that that file is in. We'll say next. Now, I'm not sure if this is supposed to happen or not, but every time I do this, I get this little error. The error was found. This error can be restored. I think this is just letting you know that the folder structure isn't there. It doesn't exist. I don't really know. But if you say next, it will say it's completed successfully and you can click finish. And now if we go over to our folder where that was, you can see now instead of that MTS file from the Vixia, there's a private folder, ABC HDL, BDMV, and then stream, and there's the file. So if we go into Final Cut Pro and go to the import window and say open archive, then we're going to navigate to that ABC HD folder that we created, which is in private, and then AVC HDL, that's the folder we want. We can say open, we can select it, and now 
there's our ABCHD video that we can import into Final Cut. And we'll add it to our ABCHD event that we made before. And there's our second file. Video and audio both playback in Final Cut. So for M2T files from Adobe On Location, you can use the media converter with the um, Rewrap AVCHD plugin. That's this program right here. Just remember to select the uh, preset that you want before you drag your files in there. And then if you have MTS files from uh, Canon Vixia, mine happens to be the HFS10, uh, you can use the AVC Cam Restore to restore the uh, folder structure that Final Cut is looking for to import those videos.